Other news tonight, Governor Tony Evers says he is suing Wisconsin's Republican-controlled legislature. He's asking the state Supreme Court to invalidate state laws that allow legislative committees to veto measures passed in state laws or budget plans. The governor says a recent committee action to withhold pay raises for universities of Wisconsin employees partly triggered the lawsuit. Grace Hodak joins us live in the studio. And Grace, the governor cites a couple more issues than just the pay raises. Sarah, Brandon, pay raises aren't the only issue the governor is citing, like you said in that lawsuit. He also argues that the legislature is blocking state conservation programs, updates to the state's commercial building standards, and ethics standards for licensed professionals. But the tension surrounding these pay raises have been building over time. Evers approved them in the 2023-2025 budget back in July. Just a couple of weeks ago, a GOP-controlled committee of legislative leaders withheld those raises amid a fight over the school system's DEI spending. So when asked why he decided to file the lawsuit against the Republican controlled legislature today, Evers says it's because they took it too far. He says the final straw was when nearly 35,000 people were quote screwed over. 35,000 Wisconsinites that are working their tails off every day have a 4% increase in, in pay and uh, one person or the, uh, the Republican Party in the legislature decides, well there we're not going to do that. Uh, until X, until Y. That's just not, I mean, that's illegal. You, you can't do that. That same committee that withheld the UW pay raises did approve pay raises for state workers. In a statement today, Speaker Voss said, quote, Today's lawsuit by Governor Evers and Attorney General Call is an attempt to eliminate the 4% raises, raises given to all state employees by the legislature. He continues by saying, Unprecedented inflation brought on by a reckless Democrat spending. We think it's ab abhorrent that the governor would try to take away lawfully approved money for hardworking state employees. According to Voss's office, because the state employee raises were approved by that committee, if Evers wins the lawsuit, it can invalidate that process and wipe out approved raises. Coming up tonight on 27 News at 6, why a law expert says this is a weak argument.